7.2 number two, trying to find the area of the shaded region analytically. So shaded regions right here, so it's top minus bottom. So we just integrate the top minus the bottom with respect to x. Our boundaries of integration are given to us, negative pi over three to pi over three. So it's integral of the top, one half secant squared x minus the bottom, which is negative four. So it's gonna be plus four sine squared x dx from negative pi over three to pi over three. That's the easy part. Now, trying to evaluate that, find the antiderivatives. This could get a little messy. All right, so antiderivative of secant squared is just tangent, so one half tangent x, that's from Carl. <clears throat> uh, sine squared, we don't know the antiderivative of that. I've got a four out front, but I do know from Carl that is power reduction formula. Uh, sine squared is one minus cosine of two u over two. So in this case, it is four, oops, four times one minus cosine of two x over two. So this four over two becomes just two times one minus cosine of two x. So distributing, I have two minus two cosine of two. I still have this one half tangent x. Antiderivative of two x is two x. Uh, antiderivative, well, so it's a negative cosine. That means it's gonna be a negative sign. Uh, of 2x. I still have that 2 there. Um, and since we're finding the antiderivative and the chain rule in reverse, we're going to divide by 2. So it's 1 half tangent x plus 2x minus sine of 2x from negative pi over 3 to pi over 3. All right. So now tangent of pi over 3. Make my little triangle over here. Pi over 3 is a 60 degree angle. So 30, 60, 90. So this is 1, 2, square root of 3. So the tangent of pi over 3, or the tangent of 60 degrees, is opposite over adjacent. So that's square root of 3. So it's 1 half times the square root of 3 plus 2 times pi over 3. Um, the sine of 2 times pi, so 2 pi over 3 requires another triangle, another 60 degree reference angle. 1, 2, square root of 3. So the sine of that angle is uh, square root of 3 over 2. So minus square root of 3 over 2. Alright, so that's my first part. Um, minus, and now we're going to plug in the negative pi over 3, so it's 1 half tangent of negative pi over 3, another triangle, 60 degrees, 30 degrees, 1, 2, square root of 3, that's negative because it's going down, so the tangent of that is opposite over adjacent, so negative square root of 3, negative, plus 2 times negative pi over 3, um, minus now the sine of negative 2 pi over 3 to complete the bow tie. 1, 2, square root of 3. That's negative, that's negative. So the sine of that would be negative square root of 3 over 2. So the opposite of negative, so plus square root of 3 over 2. Alright, so we just have to figure out what that is. So square root of 3 over 2 minus square root of 3 over 2. So I get 2 pi over 3 up on top. Uh, negative square root of 3 plus square root of 3 over 2. So those disappear. So I have a minus a negative 2 pi over 3. So plus 2 pi over 3. So total I get 4 pi over 3 for the area of the shaded region.